So I, I asked Nynona Thompson uh, how his ancestors were able to navigate so well by the stars, right? So let's check it out. So you, you guys must have known the stars really well. Mm. And I mean, I, I, you know, I, I use my tools to remind me where they rise and set and where to expect them. But if you don't have the tools, then it's in you somehow. And then you navigate with them. So how do you do that? OK. I mean, one issue is to even be able to identify and pick out stars and memorize that that's a specific star. It's an identification. Right, because a star isolated is nothing. There's a context, right. a pattern that you have to, so pattern recognition right. matters. Right. Yeah. But because you can find the star in the sky, it doesn't tell you anything about navigation. You need to know primarily where it rises and sets. OK. And so there is this mental construct called the star compass. Star compass, I like yeah. that. Uh -huh. It's as if you're a satellite looking down at the ocean's horizon, and there's a canoe in the center of this big circle. And in okay. the circle is the, the, that, that circle. That Actually, edge, I got the circle. All right, here we right, go. And it's divided into 32 star houses. Mm -hmm. Maybe north is here, south is here, east is here, west is there. Mm -hmm. And there's seven star houses in between each quadrant. OK, uh-huh. And so let's say this is the eastern horizon. So you can take a star and identify it, but you need to know what star house it is. Like Mintaka in Orion's belt, rises due east, comes across the sky and sets due west, or any of the stars. Right, OK. So, you, so you've split this, the, the perimeter, the, the horizon, into these places. If you can identify the star, and if you know what star house it rises it in, you can hold direction. Mm. So if you want to go east, you go straight towards Mintaka. Well, that would be easy, right, OK. If you want to go west, you go straight away from Mintaka. And any place in between, you can know the rest of the stars exactly. to make that happen. And we line them up on pieces of wood on the canoe. There's actually a canoe compass that is on the deck that, that uh, makes the 32 houses. So we actually, if you have the star compass, we're turning the canoe compass in the star compass and lining up different stars with different parts of the canoe to hold the desired heading. 